Hey everyone, Steve from Backcountry Gallery here, and this time around, I'm gonna show you how to update firmware on your Z-Series cameras and lenses. And honestly, a lot of this applies to DSLRs too. Now, what I wanna do in this video, this is gonna be very comprehensive. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about updating firmware. We're gonna start with a very basic update to our Z8. Everything's gonna go very smoothly, very easily. There's nothing special, but you definitely need to watch that because that gives you all the background information. Then we're gonna go into an update for the Z9. The 5.0 firmware had a special little thing you had to do, and that happens sometimes with updates. So if you ever run into a situation like that where Nikon's asking you to do a little extra, that part of the video is gonna help tremendously with those type of updates. And finally, we're gonna look at how to update your lens and how to deal with DMG files and EXE files if you don't get a bin file directly from Nikon and what to do about that. So sometimes that can happen with cameras. Most of the time right now I see it with lenses, but you never know what Nikon's gonna do next. And finally, before we jump in, keep in mind that just because I'm updating to specific firmware versions in this video doesn't mean it's not gonna apply as time goes on. So this is just an example. As time goes on, this is still going to apply. If something changes, I'll create another video. And finally, before we get started, make sure you have a memory card, a card reader, and a fully charged battery. So let's go ahead and take our first steps. So let's press the menu button and we need to head down to the setup menu. That's the one with the little wrench right there. I'm gonna press the right side of my multi-selector to slide into that menu. And I need to find my firmware version and that is at the very bottom most of the time. Pretty much every Z camera I've used, in fact, it's been at the bottom. If you happen to be at the top, the quickest way to get to the bottom, believe it or not, is to press the top of the multi-selector because it kind of flips to the bottom just like that. Let's give this a click and let's check our firmware version. You can see we have two of them here because I have a lens attached. C is the camera and LF is the lens firmware. And you can see that the camera firmware, which is the one we're interested in at the moment, is 1.01. .01. If we wanted to check our lens firmware, we'd note that it was 1.0 in this case. So now we have the information we need. Let's check and see if this particular Z8 is going to require a firmware update. And spoiler alert, it absolutely will to 2.0. So in order to figure out if there is an update for our particular piece of equipment and to download it, we need to go to the Nikon Download Center. Fastest way to do that, just type it into Google. Technically, you can drill down on the Nikon website, but this is faster. First thing that comes up, Nikon Download Center, give it a click, and that will take you to this area where you can search. You can Again, you can drill down using the little categories down here, but I think it's easier just to type it in here. In this case, it's a Z8, so I'm going to put Z space 8. I find it helps the search if you put the space in there between the camera and the number. Hit search, and it'll take you directly to the Z8 download page. Now, before we get to firmware, I do want to take a side trip here and talk about the manuals option here, because you can download these PDF manuals, and a great place to put those is on your phone. So if you need to reference something when you're on a trip in the middle of nowhere, guess what? You have the user's manual with you. Of course, another option is to make sure you have my Z8, Z9 setup guide or whatever setup guide it is for your particular camera on your phone as well. You can always do that too. Sorry, shameless plug there. But anyhow, let's go to the firmware section here and get back on track. Now I'm gonna look down here and I'm gonna see that the firmware version is 2.0 for the camera. So I'm gonna visit the download page because obviously I do need to update that. So unsurprisingly, we have landed on the Z8 firmware page. The first option is to select our operating system. It should do this automatically and it has for me with the Mac OS operating system here selected. And as we scroll down, the first thing you're probably gonna notice is the red lettering in this box right here. It's a little bit alarming, but basically what this is, it's Nikon's way of giving you some cautionary and warning notes about the firmware update, what it may do to the camera, a lot of times they talk about things like IPTC presets. They'll talk about if there's any special procedures you have to do outside the norm for installing it. Sometimes they'll even say how long it's going to take. So always pay attention to the stuff in this red box. And as a quick side note, IPTC presets, this is a pretty common one and it freaks people out, but it doesn't apply to 99.99% of the people watching this video. Basically, IPTC is International Press Telecommunications Council presets, and this is for news agencies. 
this is something you would input in your camera and if you were involved in a news agency, you'd know what this is. And if you're not, then it doesn't matter at all. So in this case, there's nothing in right here that would affect what I do and what 99.99% of the people watching this video would do. But if you happen to be in a news agency, there are instructions here for how to save your IPTC preset data so that you can reload it into the camera after the firmware update. And that's exactly what this section is for. As we scroll down, we can see we have some other options. We can look at the changes in this firmware version from the previous one. In this case, it's a 1.0 to 2.0 update. That's a the when the first digit changes, it's a big update. And we can see that that is reflected here with all these additions. We can also go down and look at changes from previous versions, how to view the camera firmware version. I showed you that a moment ago. The product description, which is just basically this little table here with some information on it, and updating the camera firmware. This one I do recommend you take a little bit of time to read through. I'm gonna show you how to do this in the video, but sometimes Nikon throws a curveball in there, so it doesn't hurt just to read through this and make sure what you're doing matches what Nikon recommends and what I'm showing you here in the video. Always do what Nikon recommends. As we get towards the bottom, we finally get to the end user license agreement, which we all say we read, but we don't. So we click accept and then we click download. And that will bring us to our next step of installing the firmware on our camera. So in order to do the update, we want to have a nice formatted memory card. So we're going to go to the top of the setup menu and click format memory card. I only have one in here, the CF Express card. And I'm just going to do a quick format here. You guys have probably done this a bunch of times, so you know what this is all about. I'm going to do quick format instead of full format. doesn't really matter. And there we go. Now I can use that card for my update. However, there is something that can throw you here when you have multiple slots on the camera, and that is the primary card slot. Sometimes people will put the update on their card, they pop it in the camera, and for some reason the camera doesn't see the update. Most of the time, that is because you are in the wrong card slot. So you need to figure out what is your primary card slot, and you can do that by going up to the photo shooting menu and just going down just a little bit here to primary slot selection. And you can see C slash X. And if I give that a click, you can see that is the CF Express slash XQD card slot is my primary. So that's the slot that I want to use for my update. If I had SD card selected in here instead, that would be the one I would wanna use for the update. So just a quick side note, if you're not seeing the update when you go to do the next step, check your primary slot selection and make sure your update is on the primary slot card. So now that we have downloaded the firmware, we have to get it from our computer onto the camera somehow. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the download. I'm gonna open my downloads folder. And as you can see, I have the Z8 firmware right here. It says 0200, that is the firmware version, version 2.0. So what we need to do is we need to get this file onto a memory card. Now, in the past, this is where people are getting tripped up a little bit sometimes. In the past, this would come as an archive. In Windows, it would be an EXE file, and here on a Mac, it would be a DMG file, and you would have to double-click that file, extract the bin file from it. It would open up a new window with a folder there that you could get the bin file out of, and then get that bin file over to the memory card. A lot of steps. Nikon now lets us go ahead and download the bin file directly. And if I double-click that, I get this question all the time. People say, hey, I double clicked it and it says it's an unsupported format. That's because it's not for your computer, it's for your camera. Basically, all we need to do is take the bin file and put it on our memory card. So I'm gonna pop the memory card in. I'm gonna give, give it a double click and here's my formatted memory card. As you can see, nothing on there. And I'm just gonna drag this bin file to the root directory. Don't put it in the folders. Just make sure you just drop it there. Do not put it in these folders or it's not gonna work. And that's all we have to do. From here, we eject the card and pop it in the camera. So let's go ahead and do that and move on to our next step. So here we are back in the setup menu of the Z8. I have the memory card in the camera. I'm gonna go back to the firmware version menu, give that a click. And if you'll notice, there is a new option here called update because we have the bin file now on the memory card. I'm gonna give that a click. And you can see it's going to confirm what we want to do. We have our current version of firmware in there and it's going to go to 2.0, pretty self-explanatory. So when we're ready to do this, all we have to do is move up to OK and click the OK button. Now, before we run the actual update, there are some things Nikon says not to do under any circumstances or we might ruin the camera. So do not remove the memory card 
while you're doing the update. Do not turn the camera off. Do not operate any of the camera's controls. Do not attach or remove lenses. Do not unplug or disconnect any AC adapters that you have connected during the update. Do not remove the battery and do not subject the camera to powerful electromagnetic noise. So in other words, don't set your running hair dryer next to the camera while you're trying to do the update. In short, when you're ready to do the update, your best bet is to just run the update, set the camera aside, and do not touch it until it's done. Don't let anything near it. Don't let anyone touch it. Just let the update run on its own. So now that you know what not to do, it's safe to click OK and update this firmware. And once the firmware update is complete, make sure you turn the camera off and then back on again. All right, our firmware should be set to 2.0, but I always like to go back to the firmware version menu and just verify that, and indeed, it is set to 2.0. Now, if you want, you can also delete the firmware update files right from here, or you can reformat the card that works just as well. But if you want to delete the firmware update files, just give it a click, and it's going to ask which one's the camera body in this case, of course, since that's the only thing we updated on the card right there. I'm going to give that a click, and yes, and it's done, just like that. We are ready to go out and enjoy that new firmware. By the way, if you want to learn how to get the most from your camera, make sure you stop by my site and check out my eBooks. I have two of them, one for DSLRs and one for mirrorless, that'll help you get the most from the Nikon autofocus system. I have one that'll help you get the most from the Nikon metering system. And I have a Z8, Z9 guide specific to those cameras that can really show you how to set those up and get the most out of them. So make sure you stop by the site, check those books out, and keep in mind, depending on when you're watching this video, there might be even more Nikon books over there for you to enjoy. Now what you just saw with the Z8 is going to cover you 90% of the time, maybe 95% of the time, but every now and then, Nikon throws us a little bit of a curveball and we have to do some extra steps. And it just so happens, at the time I was recording this video, that Nikon came out with the firmware 5.0 for the Z9, and there was an extra step we had to take. So I want to kind of show you how to handle that if it should ever come up again. So we're going to just breeze through the stuff you already know here, and I'm mostly going to focus on the stuff that's kind of different with this particular update. And again, again though, I do want to stress this is the exception, not the rule when it comes to doing these firmware updates. Let's take a look. Okay, so I took the liberty of just getting us to the Z9 firmware page. I showed you how to find that earlier. And what I want to talk about is all the stuff in red here, especially this GNSS module update, because that's the one that's going to throw us. But again, it is very important anytime you see stuff in red to make sure you read through this carefully, because like the first one here, time required to complete the update. It sounds like for most people, it's going to take about six minutes, but... If you have a firmware version earlier than 2.0, the screen's gonna be blank for about two minutes before the progress bar is displayed. So Nikon's telling you this so you don't freak out and think there's something wrong with the camera or try to turn it off or pull the battery or something. So it's always good to read through this stuff. We talked about the IPTC presets already. I'm not gonna go over that again. But here's the one that's gonna throw us off a little bit. That's the GNSS module firmware update. It says that we might need to update the module for the GPS, and unfortunately, we have no way to know what version of firmware that module is using in our camera prior to this 5.0 update. So basically, we're not gonna know if we need to do this until we update the camera. So what it says, though, is if we do need to update it, we need to follow steps three, four, and five in the updating the camera firmware section, and that's what they're referring to right here. And if we look at steps three, four, and five, it's basically just running that same update a second time, this time to update the firmware. So basically what's happening is the camera needs to run the firmware update once to kind of prepare itself to be able to update this GNSS firmware module and tell us what version it is. And then if we check the version and find we do need to run an update, then we just run the same update again. We run the same firmware update one more time. So basically you're gonna do it twice. I'm gonna show you that step by step. But again, the main thing here I want you to take away is that anything in red, read it carefully, and if there's kind of funky stuff like this, sometimes you need to go through and make sure you're very, very comfortable with what it's saying to do here. And most of the time it is very simple just like this. And again, most of the time you never have to do, do this kind of stuff, but I do want to point this out. That's why we're doing the video, right? So I'm going to go ahead and download this, stick it on a memory card, and put that memory card in the camera. 
So here we are in the setup menu for the Z9. I have the card with the new firmware inserted and ready to go. I have firmware version highlighted here in the menu. I'm going to give that a click and we see the same menu that we saw with the Z8. I'm going to go down to update and give this a click. And once again, it's going to confirm what I want to do. In this case, I'm going from 4.1 to 5.0. Once again, I'm going to highlight OK, and then I'm going to click OK and let the camera do the update. So here we are back in the setup menu of the Z9 after our firmware update, and we're just going to check firmware version real quick here. And as you can see, we are at 5.0. However, we do have some more work to do here. If you notice, we have a new item here, that letter G right there, that refers to that GNSS module that we saw in the red lettering on Nikon's download page. And those instructions said that if it's not at 0.17, we need to run the update again. Now we're going to update with that same exact bin file. I've not removed that from the card. This is the same card. We just need to run the update twice, basically. The first time kind of sets the camera up so it can accept an update to the GNSS module. And this time allows us to actually update that particular module. So if we go to update, give it a click, you'll see that the camera version is going to stay the same, 5 to 5, but the GNSS module is going to go from 0.07 to 0.17, so we are going to get an update there. So I'm going to bring that up to OK, and then I'm just going to click. And again, I want to stress, in this particular case, this is the same bin file. Nikon says simply to repeat steps 3, 4, and 5 in their updating camera firmware instructions on their site, which is basically to put the card with the bin file in the camera, go to this menu and update. <laughs> so that's all we're doing here. And anytime you run into these special situations with updates, it could be like this or it could be something else. So you really have to pay attention to those instructions. But overall, it's usually pretty easy. So from here, we just hit OK and let's run that update again. All right, the second time around, update has finished. Let's go to firmware version. And we can see that the camera is at 5 and the GNSS module is at 0.17 just like we want. So at this point, we can go ahead and delete the updated files. And there we go. We are now all set and we can go out and enjoy the new firmware. Finally, let's talk lens firmware updates. The good news is that it's pretty much like updating a camera. So again, make sure you watch that first segment where we do the basic camera firmware update. There are a few differences and that's what we're gonna highlight in this section. So let's jump right to it. So our first step is to see if we actually need to update the firmware. So we're gonna go back to the firmware version menu, just like we would for the camera. Give that a click. And this time we are looking for that LF item, that LF number right there, which is 1.0. That tells us what our lens firmware is for this 100 to 400 I have attached. So now that we know that, we can go over to Nikon's website and figure out if this lens actually needs an update. So once again, we're going to go to Google, go to the Nikon Download Center, give that a click. And once again, we can choose by category, but I find it easier just to put the product name in here. In this case, I'm going to type in 100 dash 400 without any spaces there and you'll see that the lens I'm looking for pops right up. I'm gonna give that a click, hit search and it should take me right to it, which it did. I'm gonna click firmware and we can see that the current firmware is version 1.1 so I do need to update the software. So we're gonna go to the download page and once again it's gonna select the operating system for us. It's gonna give us all that same information as far as changes and compatible cameras and all that good stuff. So this is pretty much exactly what we saw with the camera update. It's just that this time it's for a lens. I'm going to once again accept the end user license agreement, click download, and I'll download that firmware right to my computer. So once again, we need to open our downloads folder and there is the firmware right there. And you can see just like the camera tells us what it is, it's for the 100 to 400 and it's version 110. So this is what we were looking for to upgrade the 100 to 400 lens. Now, however, this is a little bit different. If you notice, this is a DMG file, and if you're using Windows, this would have been an EXE file. So you can't put those on the camera. You have to get the bin file. The camera can only deal with bin files for firmware updates. So what we have here instead, though, is an archive. So basically, it's a zipped file inside of this DMG container here. So we need to double click it basically to extract it. And the same applies with an EXE file. And your computer should bring up the folder like this. 
Now, Windows may not put it in a separate window like this. It may just drop it into the downloads folder where the original archive, the exe was. So either way though, make sure you find this folder. Now this still isn't it though. You can't just drag and drop this folder. You have to drag and drop the bin file. So we have to dig down a little deeper. So I'm gonna double click this one more time. And here we have our bin file. This, this right here is what we need to put on our memory card. So I'm gonna pop in a formatted card, open it up here. And just like with the camera firmware, I'm gonna drop this bin file into the root directory of the memory card. Again, don't put it in the folders. You want it in the root directory so it looks like this. Now, this is for lenses, but Nikon in the past has done this with cameras as well. So you could run into a situation where you get a DMG file or an EXE file for your camera update and you have to go through this same procedure. This was actually what was in my original how to update firmware video. And Nikon kind of stopped doing that with the camera, so I'm making this new one here. But just as a side note, if you ever get a DMG or an EXE for your camera update, procedure is exactly the same as what you see right here. And of course, if Nikon just supplies you with the bin file and not a DMG, you can drag that bin file right over. So if in your downloads here, instead of DMG, it was BIN, just take it, drag it over, and don't worry about trying to extract it. So now let's eject the memory card and we'll finish our update. All right, I'm gonna pop the memory card back in the camera here, and then I'm gonna to go to the cameras menu, and once again, I'm going to go to firmware version in the setup menu. Gonna give that a click, and just like with the camera, we now have an update option. If we go down to the update option and give that a click, you'll see that we're now going to update LF, which is, again is lens firmware from 1 to 1.0. And of course, you obviously have to have the lens attached to do this. So all we have to do is, just like the camera, go to the OK button, and give it a click and just like the camera you don't want to touch it while it's updating don't do anything while it's updating all those warnings that i gave you earlier still apply here so i'm going to go ahead and press ok and get this updated just like with the camera update you have to turn the camera back on and off again so i turned it off turn it back on and in fact this time the camera even put up a little notice that said please shut the camera off so make sure you always turn the camera off after any kind of update and then turn it back on and of course our final step is once again to go in and just verify that we have the proper firmware version on there and we can see lens firmware is now at 1.1 just like we want so we can delete these update files obviously the one for the lens can that's all that we have there right now and yes, and it's done. And now your lens firmware is up to date and you can go out and shoot and enjoy it. All right, so there you have it. You are now an expert at updating Nikon firmware. If you enjoyed this video and enjoy learning about your Nikon cameras, make sure you check out all of my Nikon guides at my website. I have guides for autofocus to get sharper photos. And of course I have my Z8, Z9 setup guide that'll walk you through everything you need to know about those two cameras. And hey, depending on when you're watching this, there might be a bunch of other Nikon guides there you'd love to. So make sure you stop by and check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to share this video with anyone you think might like it and have a great day.